Again, you're welcome to today's class. Check out this math problem before us here. The square root of s, so the square root of s, square root of s, square root of s equals to 4x. How do we solve this? Easy. So let's go into today's challenge again. So we take solution. Solution. Oh, let's bring down the question systematically. So we have here x, square root of x, square root of x, square root of x, equal to 4x. So we can use two different methods to solve this challenge here. Okay, let me draw this well. We can use two different methods to solve this, but I'm going to use just one of them, okay? Now, the whole of this square root now is covering everything here. So I want to eradicate this radical here. So I'm going to square this, square. What's about do to the left-hand side, we must equally do to the right-hand side. Ah. So what happened, this, this leaves the system. This will be exposed. So we now have x into the square root of our x, which is this, to the square root of x, into the square root of x. Everything equal to 4x, bracket, bracket, x squared. Easy, right? Good. Now, again, we want to eliminate this radical. So what we do, we take the square of both sides again. So if I square this, I will equally square this again. So yeah, I have this square. Do you get that? Good. So what happened, this we affect this separately, this will affect this separately. So this, this leaves. So we are now left with your x square times your x into the square root of x to the square root of x. Okay, this is equal to bracket, bracket, four x squared or square. We are headed somewhere. Again, we look at this again. What do we do? We can use this and this to multiply each other. So if we do that, because the basis are the same, and here we have multiplication sign, so we are going to have here, if it's able, one plus two here, to give us three. So automatically, we're going to have this to be s to the power of three into the square root of x, into the square root of x, everything equal to our, uh, okay. So here we're going to have bracket again, four x, r to the power of 2, the r to the power of 2. Good. Again, I want to eliminate this next radical here now. So here we have a point here. So we take the square of both sides again. So if you take the square of everything, again we square this. <laughs> Do you get that here? Okay, so what happened? This will affect this. And this will equally affect this. So this, this leaves. And 2 times 3 will give us what? 6. So we're going to have this to be x to the power of 6 times x into the square root of x equal to, we have this, this, 4x, this square, this square, this square. Whew. Okay, 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 okay. Again, we use this to multiply this. Yeah, we, remember we have divisible one, so this gives us seven. So we have here x to the power of seven times the square root of x. This is equal to, we have here four x plus bracket square, square, square. Let's continue on this side and see what this gives us in turn. This is interesting, mad modest. Okay, again, we take the square, our side again, the square, right? Then we introduce another square here. <laughs> okay, so this, this leaves, this time this will give us 14. So we're going to have here your x to the power of 14, which is this times this times our x, okay? Everything equal to, we have, but let's draw it where, so we have four, x close bracket square 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 Ooh. so from what we have here now what we do we can now use this to multiply each other again remember we have invisible one here so we're having s to the power of 15 
equal to let's use this to open up everything here so we're going to have here two times two will give us four four times two will give us eight eight times two will give us 16. so we are having here four x r to the power of 16. easy so we are looking for x according to what we have here okay and the x we are looking for is inside here and here we have x here so what we do here is easy all we need to do is to use this power to open up this so we can write this as x to the power of 15 equal to 4, 4 to the power of 16 times our x to the power of 16 good easy 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 so um now if you share this this is smaller than this so all we just need to do is to divide through by 4 to the power of 16 we equally divide this side by 4 to the power of 16 okay this is 16 please okay to the power of 16 okay so if we do that this will leave the system so we now have our x to the power of 16 equal to our x to the power of 15 all over 4 to the power of 16 okay so we're having x to the power of 15 all over this now what we do next divide through by x to the power of 16 so we have here x to the power of 15. okay again we equally divide this side by x to the power of 15. so this this leaves the system so we are now having one all over this and here we can apply the division law of indices move this to this side so we now have s to the power of 16 minus 15 equal to 1 all over 4 to the power of 16. easy so here we give us one so we now have our x is equal to because this this will give us one so we can rewrite this in index form removing this division sign and this one so we're going to have here 4 to the power of minus 1 to the power of 16. So this is the value of x that we satisfy this math Olympiad challenge. All right. So this might be the end to this challenge here. If you learned something from this video, give the video a thumbs up. And if you're not clear in the process of explanation, then drop it in the comment section. If you want me to use the second method I told you of to this challenge, say second method. Drop it in the comment section that second method and i'm going to bring out a video for the second method thanks for being there remember i'm your friend jake's animal we love you bye for now